Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content, and I love new crafting friends. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today I'm gonna to show you how I upcycled a mason jar that I got from um, the dollar store. Really simple, really easy DIY, and you can complete it in an afternoon. We're down to the crunch for Halloween decor, so I thought I would throw this in and show you how easy it is to make. So. Let's get started. Today I'm gonna to show you how I'm gonna turn this mason jar that I picked up at the dollar store, it's got the little votive holder into it, into a spooky, fun Halloween candle holder. To do this project, you're gonna need some polyacrylic sealer, just a little dish, just a Tupperware dish, some computer paper, and I picked up this glitter at Dollarama, it was $4, and I love all the assortment of colors in it. I've taken my mason jar um, down to the sink, washed it with a bunch of hot soapy water, and now I'm going to use one of these alcohol wipes just to clean it off really well, make sure there's no grease or grime left on it. Now we're going to need our polyacrylic sealer. I'm using satin finish. You can use any finish. It doesn't matter which one you're using. Um, and you just want to pour. This, this stuff is expensive, so you don't want to waste any. So I'm gonna put it in a little dish, pour it in, because we wanna coat the whole inside of that um, jar. And you're just gonna swirl it around till it's completely covered. I like to hold it over this little dish in case I spill any, because if you know me and you've been following around, I'm not crafting happy unless I'm making a mess. And then when you have it almost swirled, I like to hold it over the jar and dump in the extra into the jar. You wanna make sure you get the neck of it all covered too. And I'm just gonna hang on to it for a few minutes just to let all the extra drip out because we don't want it all pooling in the bottom. It's all completely covered on the inside all the way around. I've dumped the access that was extra, made sure that it coated the whole thing as I was dumping it out into the um, polyacrylic jar. We are going to use this orange color. I love it. Looks like a pumpkin. We're just gonna take the lid off and just dump it right in to that jar. And I'm gonna dump all of it in because that's probably, we'll use most of it. And then just swirl it around. Gonna swirl it around the bottle. Make sure it's getting into all that polyacrylic sealer and all the little areas. Now I have a piece of paper to catch this extra because what gets dumped out, we can put back in the bottle and we can use again. I love this color. It's gonna make a fantastic looking pumpkin candle holder. Okay, I think I have it pretty covered pretty good. And then we're just gonna set it aside and let it completely dry. Okay, now we're waiting for this to dry. I would like to make a graphic for the front of it with my Cricut. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I wanna make a spooky Halloween graphic for this um, candle holder. So I'm gonna go into upload. I have a graphic that I made, it says spooky. I'm going to add that to my canvas. And this is available in my Etsy store. If you're interested in purchasing it, you can grab it. Make sure you use the code SAVE50. You get 50% off all of my graphics. Um, and I'm just gonna size it. We're in Canada, so it's centimeters. So I'm gonna start at five centimeters. I think I want it a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna pull it a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna make it. I'm doing it on a mat because I'm using a scrap piece of vinyl that I had. I'm going to press done and then we're going to press continue. Everything looks good and it's connecting with my Explore 3 and I am using Smart Vinyl Removable. Click on that and it's sending all the information to the cutting machine. While we're waiting for this to dry, um, I'm gonna put the graphic on it. And I love this little hack. I just have a lint roller 
and I just press my jar exactly where I want it so it's laying flat and it doesn't roll around and it's easier to put the graphic on. So we're just going to peel off the transfer tape and we're ready to put it exactly where I want it on the jar. This is such an easy DIY and I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't tried the polyacrylic sealer and the glitter on the inside of glass jars, give it a try because it's so cool. You can use so many different colors of um, glitter and make it different bottles for different holidays. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great day. I'd love to see your finished crafts and what you've been working on. So follow me over on Facebook. You can send me photos and we can inspire each other.